this is example 23 in our differentiation topic. We're looking at implicit differentiation. And if you haven't checked out uh, the last video, example 22, uh, when we can set out what implicit differentiation was, and there was a first example on it, then I would recommend that you watch that first of all. So we're looking at different ways in which we can uh, differentiate implicit functions. And uh, this one is interesting because it has a use of the product rule while we're differentiating. So it's, it requires a little bit of uh, care and attention. So we'll have a look at what we have to do when we have, in this case here, um, you'll notice that in this function y squared plus 2xy minus 5x squared equals 0, we do have a product of terms uh, in that second part. So we're going to have to deal with that particularly. So let's write out our function as it's given. y squared plus 2xy minus 5x squared equals 0. To start the differentiation process, we indicate that we're going to differentiate each side with respect to x. Let's stick that in on the right-hand side just to show that we can balance that up. And then we can start to differentiate each separate element of our equation. So the first one, y squared, differentiates to 2y times dy by dx, but because uh, we're differentiating it with respect to y, and because of that, we have to multiply by dy by dx so that effectively it's differentiating with respect to x. Um, I'm going to leave that next term, the, the third term, negative uh, 5x squared differentiates to negative 10x, and on the right-hand side, 0 differentiates to 0. So I left that middle term because I want to take it out uh, separately just so that we can have a look at what's going on here. The derivative of 2xy with respect to x. So it's a product. We can use the product rule. Uh, u would be 2x and v would be y. And if we differentiate u with respect to x, that gives us 2 and differentiate v with respect to x. Well, we differentiate with respect to y. y differentiates to 1 times dy by dx. So we just get dy by dx as a derivative. So the product, uh, the, so the derivative of uh, 2xy becomes u dash v. So the derivative of u is 2, and v becomes y. That's the first one. Plus, uh, u v dash, so 2x dy by dx, 2x dy by dx. So you can take that out separately or in time uh, you might be happy just doing that by inspection during the, um, the actual differentiation process. So we can substitute all that in, plus 2y plus 2x dy by dx. I'll move that along a bit. Okay, so there we've got our differentiated expression. So just take care with the product of terms that you uh, realize that there's going to be two terms because of the product rule, not just the one. I can then continue as I have done before. We keep the any terms that contain dy by dx, we keep on the left-hand side. So that's 2y dy by dx plus 2x dy by dx is equal to, uh, and the other terms appear on the right-hand side, 10x minus 2y. Take a common factor of dy by dx, and we get 2y plus 2x. You'll probably notice that all of the expressions uh, have a, a common factor of 2. We'll deal with that in a moment. So dy by dx is equal to, okay, I'll take a common factor of 2 out here as I'm rewriting it. I'll put x plus y rather than y plus x just because I like this to be a wee 
extensive order then we can divide through by 2 dy by dx is equal to 5x minus y over x plus y and there we have our derivative which is involved as using the product rule okay so there's another couple of examples uh, to come up but that's a really important one to take consideration of because these little um, expressions with the product rule occur quite a lot okay have a practice at that.